Warning, the following video may contain spoilers for the Naruto and the Naruto Shippuden anime and manga series. Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Naruto Clash of Ninja. Um, this is might this is probably just gonna be a one-off thing. Probably gonna do it in one sitting. Uh, I'm just gonna play through the story mode because there's not much else to this game uh, besides like multiplayer. There's like a one-player survival thing. Yeah, like right here. So there's just a lot of random ass modes. This game is really shitty compared to the second and all the other ones that came afterwards. To celebrate your graduation from the academy, I'll treat you to ramen. All right! <laughs> Thanks, Iruka sensei that, that was awesome! Now that I learned the clone jutsu today, I'm one step closer to becoming Hokage. Believe it! You know... This is only the beginning of your journey. The road gets tougher now that you're a ninja. All right then, let me test you one more time to see if you can actually make it as a ninja. No way! So as you just seen there, that's the kind of like cutscenes and shit we'll have. Um. So yeah, this is like based off of the beginning of the Naruto series, like very early on. Um. Like, at least this game is. It's extremely short compared to the rest of them. Um, the second game, like, included all the story from the first game, and then some, and then it even had its own story besides, so it was really good. The second one goes all the way up to the tuning exams, and if I am correct, I think I'm correct in saying that they were both released the same year, even, which is retarded. I don't know why they did that. They just like do it to buy time. I have no freaking clue. So I just realized that I it was like almost dead there. I wasn't really paying attention as much as I was talking. Um, yeah, me and my friends like who lived close by I used to play this a lot when we were kids. Um, we even got fairly competitive with it. Not necessarily this one, like the second one and the ones after that was really the ones that we played a lot. Like the Wii ones, the Clash Ninja Revolution. Like they're all really good games in my opinion. Apparently the Ninja Storm's better according to one of my friends, but I've never played Ninja Storm. Like too long. I played a very tiny bit of it, so I don't really have a good opinion on it. So yeah, he's gonna become Hokage boys and girls. <clears throat> What's the deal? Why the heck am I doing this exercise? I'm a ninja now, you know? What kind of training is it? Because that sensei sure didn't look too reliable. Hey, Naruto. Huh? What's going on? Before taking on Kakashi, want to do some practice exercises to warm up? Wouldn't want you to slow me down during the real battle. Uh, why you? I've done lots of mental training and I'm well prepared too. Believe it. That's enough small talk. Come on. Both of you, cut it out. We're gonna be late if we don't leave soon. Sure. Do your best, Sasuke. 
So as everybody knows, Sasuke is way more awesome than Naruto, but unfortunately, you had to beat him up using Naruto, which is stupid. At least he's better than him for for the most of the series, and the beginning of Shippuden, middle of Shippuden, he's kind of smelly, but then for the rest of Shippuden, he's awesome. I recently started watching Naruto again, I got really into it. I freaking love it. Uh, I got in, I got out of it like after the Sasuke retrieval arc because it was just all filler, and it was really stupid. Like it's a couple years of filler, so I just stopped watching it after a few months. And I got back into it recently. I watched everything that's been dubbed in English because I can't stand Naruto's uh, Japanese voice even more than I can't stand his English voice. So yeah, so let me beat Sasuke. We got to fight uh, Sakura now too, because Naruto's an idiot. I don't know if it's more so Naruto's stupid or Sakura's stupid. Sakura's really, really freaking dumb until Shippuden. Shippuden's when she actually smarns up. Until then, she's really stupid. All these fights are just there to make up for space and the lack of content in this game. I'm eventually gonna do the second game too, but I thought I'd just do the first one just for shits as like a one-off thing because I don't really want to... This is right after I recorded Pokemon Emerald, which is probably not up yet, but I eh, I didn't really feel like recording that, so I said I'd record this instead. This is probably going to be uh, one or two parts, I don't know. It depends on how long it is. That's one kill on Sakura. It's not that hard. This game is not hard at all. It's a lot harder, or not so much harder, as you need to be more strategic when you're fighting actual opponents, like human com opponents, as opposed to the AI, because the AI is really dumb. Oh, God damn it, no. Piss. Sometimes if they catch you, though, they can really get you in a loop. The only difficult one, I'd say, is probably Zabuza at the end. Because of his sword, that's really long range. I think he's by far, like, the strongest character. Him and Kakashi are pretty close if he's not the strongest. But Sakura is, I think, the weakest. I think you have to unlock Rock Lee, or you get him from the beginning. But if you f complete this without dying, you get to fight him. I don't know if I'm gonna... Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. It's now I gotta fight Kakashi, and sorry about skipping that last cutscene. It wasn't much, it was just everybody getting pissed in Naruto, I'm pretty sure. But Kakashi is one of the other good characters in the game. And he might be the second hardest fight we have next to Haku and Zabuza. 
Oh, look, there's Hinata in the background and Konohamaru. All fun and games, you know? Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Boom. Let's believe it, Kakashi. Ah, oh, fuck you. Piece of shit. I'll go again. Yeah, so I started watching uh, Naruto Shippuden and, uh, because I already watched all of the canon Naruto uh, series. And I'm pre I didn't watch all of the filler in Shippuden, even though I heard it's not as bad. Like, I didn't watch the one with, like, the... I think it's supposed to be zombies. Whatever the fuck it is, with Sora. I didn't watch that. I watched part of it before, when, before it was dubbed. But, uh, I need to watch that. Cause apparently it's not near as bad as the Naruto... As the Naruto shit, so... I'll do that. Eventually. And Kakashi might actually get one down on us. Because I'm not paying attention. Damn it, I missed. Fuck you, Kakashi Sensei. Piss. Damn it. Ew. Fucking die. Don't hurt me. There we go. Good. And then we all we were almost out of time too. Oh, that was two kills. Sweet. Awesome. Well then, bitch. Yes, as you can see, this uh, cuts out a lot of the story because it is like a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. So you can't do like all the going after the bells and all that shit. But I think there's only like two or three fights left, so yeah, it's a really short game. Damn it, Haku. Haku's fairly tough too. Like, Sasuke and Sakura are nothing. How come I didn't substitute? It was dumb. Oh, what a bitch. I'm pretty sure Haku has, like, this thing where he can, like, throw his, like, sin buns up in the air and they'll, like, stay there for a little bit. What a bitch! Fuck. Come over here and fight. If you're really a man. Which I don't know if you are. You say you are. You don't look it, but you say you are. Oh, sexy jutsu bitch. And it didn't work. Substitution. I really like Haku. It's one of my favorite characters to play in this game. I don't really have a problem with the roster in this game. It's just that it's too small. The characters that are available are decent, I guess, except for Sakura. Who's really not that great. Because, you know, she's Sakura and she's super weak. Fight over. Believe it. Yay, we won. I think it's only Zabaza. And maybe Rock Lee, depending on how good I do. 